If you're like me and have used Micro Four Thirds since the very beginning, like these two old firm favourites, the GH1 and the Lumix GH2, a fabulous camera, filmmakers are going to love the very latest addition to the GH lineup, the Lumix GH6. The Lumix GH6 offers the filmmaker new features and exciting possibilities to help you realise a top quality final production. I'm Nick Driftwood, let's take a look at what's new for filmmakers, the codecs and some great video functionality. Sporting a new 25.2 megapixel live MOS sensor at a size of 17.3 by 13 millimetres, the Lumix G86 Micro Four Thirds camera offers you a full scope of aspect ratios and the sharpest of images. The Lumix G86 sensor can capture the full width of the sensor at 5.7K in 17.9. At 5.8K, utilising the sensor's full height and readout, you can record open gate anamorphic 4x3 at 5760x4320 pixels. Rolling shutter is negligible with its new Venus engine and it gives us twice the processing power than ever before. Plus, there's new intelligent detail processing, offering higher resolution and optimised 2D and 3D noise reduction, which analyses both spatial, typically colour noise and grain at high ISOs, and frame-to-frame -frame temporal noise. The G86 has a new in-body image stabilisation gyro and algorithm. That's sensor shift image stabilisation giving you up to 7.5 stops of compensation that can be maintained at longer focal lengths when using dual IS2 lenses. Now I want to talk about codecs. The Lumix G86 gives you access to a massive range of PAL NTSC 24Hz cinema codecs from top quality all intra Apple ProRes HQ to all intra or predictive HEVC H.264 QuickTime MOV and MP4 variations. These work in the three different frequency ranges and frame rate choices include 24, 25, 30, 48, 50, 60p in HD or 4K and higher as you can see plus slow-mo favoured frame rates of 120p at 4K and 300 frames per second in HD. Plus, you have unlimited recording times thanks to the camera's cooling fan at the back of the camera. Now, encoding to all intra or all I offers low compression, high bitrate, high quality, large file sizes. All intra frames are quick to decode and each frame is compressed within itself. There's also long gop encoding or IP, IPB, which works by predicting key changes and motion compensation from a keyframe or frame to frame analysis using intra, predictive and B frames. B frames jump backwards and forwards. And it's this that offers the space saving bit rates, producing smaller file sizes at comparable quality. Both codecs look very good and offer highly tuned quantization. For the more conventional MOV modes, the Lumix G86 offers the H.264 codec for the camera's 422 modes. The 422 H.264 modes include both all eye and long gop options. H.265 is used to deliver long gop 420 10-bit files that balance 50% the bitrate size of H.264, but at the same quality. MOV modes of 600 megabits per second or below can be written to a decent SD card, V90 card, and also broadcast compatibility hasn't been forgotten as there's a highly compressed low bit rate 8 bit modes and 1080i interlaced choices also available found inside the AVC wrapper. The H.264, H.265 MOV or MP4 files can be recorded onto either compact flash Express Type B cards or via the SD slot UHS-2 SD cards, V90 we recommend. Best of all, the Lumix G86 has the ability to record internally Apple ProRes HQ. Now ProRes HQ is the highest quality, virtually lossless, all intra 
and you'll need a fast, reliable, compact flash express type B card to do so. In future firmware updates, we'll be seeing ProRes DCI 4K and HD support, plus the possibility of external ProRes RAW recording at a variety of different frame rates. And finally, the ability to record to external SSDs as the G86 has a fast USB-C type port on the side here. Panasonic.